Dazzling holiday displays always fill children with a sense of wonder and excitement. And Susan Watson found some in Chattanooga that affect adults pretty much the same way. It's part of an annual tradition involving the time and talents of volunteers at the city's electric power board. The holiday season is full of traditions of all kinds. And for many folks in Chattanooga, the season doesn't truly begin until they've made a special trip to downtown, to the corner of 6th and Market Street. It's here where lights twinkle and the sights and sounds of the season seem to come alive in a tradition that's more than half a century old. Little children still press their noses to the glass, just like their parents and grandparents surely did to get the closest possible look at all the holiday magic inside these windows. Lonnie Hughes was hired as display director to design and build the showcase windows in 1946, the year the Christmas scenes made their debut here. January through November, the windows invited people to live better electrically. But just after Thanksgiving, the crowds gathered to see a different message. It was a challenge and it was interesting, and it was a good job, and I fell in love with it, and I sure missed it after I retired. In a stroke of economic genius, Mr. Hughes and his assistants bought secondhand scenes, then reworked them into scenes of their own design. We touched them up, redressed them, repaired them, and when we unveiled the windows, they look like new. After Mr. Hughes retired, the employees of the EPB decided to make sure the tradition of dressing up their windows for the holidays continued. Employees like Teresa Walker volunteer their time after work and on weekends. After your regular day, you come down and you work um, maybe four hours or so at night. And, but it, it's so fun, it's not tiring. It just kind of gets you in the spirit and you go home, you're so full of energy that you're wanting to do your own decorating at home. So I would even go in and put in an hour or so at home decorating also. The time spent untangling and testing strings of light and filling gaps in trees with just the right ornament was all worth it for Teresa. Just to see them all light up together, I was just mesmerized. It was just so exciting. Uh, each time you see them, it's, you always see something that you didn't see the first time. President and CEO Harold DePriest is proud of his company's unique tradition and glad for the goodwill it creates among customers and employees alike. For the employees, this, this is like decorating their home. This is their home. They're here an awful lot. So there's a lot of teamwork and camaraderie, a, a lot of enjoyment just in getting the building spruced up and ready for company. They like the building looking nice for Christmas. Uh, it, it's, it's the holiday spirit, uh, even if you've got to pay your electric bill. <laughs> Our folks start and work for about three months planning the windows and, and then actually building them. Um, they have a lot of fun doing it. And I think they have a good sense of fulfillment. A lot of the work that you do today, you don't see the results of. If you're poking on a computer or something, when you work on those windows, you go see the results and people say, boy, that looks good. Another plus for a supervisor of corporate staff, Pam Baker, is that otherwise busy people get a chance to slow down and get to know one another. It's nice to be able to call people by name when you see them. And this is the type of thing that gets them involved and, and you learn them that way. It's really a nice feeling to know that people enjoy it as well as they do. As the EPB readies itself for the move to a brand new building, it's not the end to this much loved tradition, just a new beginning. We added window displays in our new building simply to, to be able to carry on the tradition. So it'll be a little different, it'll be a different building, a little, little different look but we still have those display windows and uh, we're going to make the most of them. So the elves will still have a home? The elves <laughs> will still have a home and still have a job. Uh, we intend to take all of our elves and reindeers and uh, all of the little people to our new building and, and use them every Christmas again. We try to add one or two each year, but the bulk of them have been there for a long, long time. Uh, we rework them, they repaint their faces, put new hair on the little, uh, little elves, uh, put new motors in to make the animation work. So most of them are veterans. They have seen Santa clung many times. I think what makes them popular right now is nostalgia for what, uh, what they were 30, 40, 50 years ago. 
Um, I tend to stroll around the building a lot uh, this time of year, and uh, it's very common to find a, a grandfather out there with his little granddaughter or grandson and saying, you know, when I was a little boy, <laughs> this was a big part of Christmas. You know, I remember those when I was a little boy, and I'm so glad that they're still here. And thanks to the employees of the EPB, they'll be here to fill the next generation with wide-eyed wonder as well.